Bill O'Reilly displayed a massive ignorance of economics. Uh, I mean, horrible ignorance. Let's listen. Tonight, money, jobs, and race. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Yesterday, President Obama echoed a familiar theme about the American economy. The average CEO has gotten a raise of nearly 40% since 2009. The average American earns less than he or she did in 1999. This growing inequality, not just of result, inequality of opportunity, this growing inequality, it's not just morally wrong, it's bad economics. Since Mr. Obama has been president, more than $6 trillion have been added to the national debt. Much of that's spent by the feds trying to redistribute income. Welfare payments have exploded. Obamacare costs a fortune. And things like food stamps and disability are at record levels. It's clear that President Obama wants the federal government to run the economy, and that has been a disaster. Economic growth in this country is about 2%. That's why wages aren't rising. Workers make more money when there is a demand for their services. For example, my salary has gone up because other people would like to hire me. But with high unemployment and companies afraid to expand because of high taxation, there's little incentive for businesses to pay workers more. President Obama does not seem to understand that. There is so much there that needs to be corrected. Let's go from the top. He goes, ah, six trillion dollars added to the debt. Notice why he doesn't give you the specifics. What's that from, Bill? What's that from? It's from the wars, which you were in favor of, the stimulus, which was necessary because Bush crashed the economy, the interest that was accruing on the already existing debt before Obama got in office, and the Bush tax cuts, which you were also in favor of. But see, he doesn't tell you the specifics of the breakdown of the debt because he wants you to think that Obama came into power and just started giving away trillions of dollars to black people. And he actually made that more clear as he went along. So uh, he says, Yo, welfare payments exploded. No, no they haven't. Obama hasn't signed a, a single bill to expand welfare. That's an absolute lie. Uh, he goes, oh, Obamacare costs a fortune. Obamacare doesn't cost a penny because it's individuals buying from the private market. In fact, uh, not many people know this, Obamacare cuts the deficit by over $100 billion because taxpayers don't have to subsidize people who are uninsured anymore who just show up to the emergency room. It would be on them because they have to buy insurance now from the private market. But he doesn't tell you that because it's inconvenient. It's an inconvenient fact that Obamacare is actually a fiscally responsible bill. And then he goes to, oh, well, food stamps shot up. Yeah, because of Bush's recession, and by the way, a, bu a bill that Bush signed that would have expanded uh, access to food stamps. Again, it has nothing to do with President Obama. Uh, and then he uh, jumps the shark. He says, it's clear, it's clear President Obama wants the federal government to run the economy, and that has been a disaster. Incorrect. Just flat out incorrect. Obama has cut government jobs, and there's been an increase in private sector jobs by over 7 million. And of course, 91% of the jobs in the economy are private sector, only 8% are government. You're not just wrong, Bill, you're horribly wrong. Look, you know what Obama could have done if he wanted to do what Bill O'Reilly is accusing him of? He could have done it. He could have tried to make the government overtake the economy in many more ways, but he hasn't done it. 91% of the jobs are still private sector jobs. Only 8% are government. Uh, then he says, Oh, uh, high taxation. That's why businesses aren't hiring anymore. But Obama cut taxes on 99% of Americans and cut business taxes 16 times. Don't take my word for it. In fact, all of my listeners, I never want you to ever take my word for anything. Be skeptical, always be skeptical, always be questioning. Fact check me as I go along. Look it up right now, pull it right up on Google. Obama cut taxes for businesses 16 times. Look, Bill O'Reilly's understanding of the facts is non-existent, and his understanding of economics is horrendous. If he cared at all to research before he opened his mouth, he would have found that the productivity of the American people has been steadily increasing since the 1980s. That line goes straight up on the graph. But our wages have flatlined. 
So where did all of that money go? It had to go somewhere because literally productivity went up, which means money goes up. So where did it go? Well, it comes full circle right to what President Obama was saying at the beginning. It went to the rich who cut our wages, hoarded the money, and then paid the politicians to rig the tax system against us and for them. That, Billy Boy, is the problem. Maybe you should spend a couple days in my classroom and I could teach you some actual information and history and economics.